Locate the FB Multi-Peer application on your computer. Double-click on the application to launch the software. Upon opening the application, the welcome screen will appear. In this tutorial, we'll investigate how to view a soil resistance plot for a soil layer of interest. In the process, we'll discuss how to input soil properties for a selected layer. Let's begin by selecting the new icon located in the top left corner of the program as shown. After selecting the new icon, FB Multipure will prompt you to select the model type and desired units. In this tutorial, we will employ a default peer model. After selecting the peer model type, click OK to load your selection. After creating your model, the user interface will display four individual windows as shown here. The top left window, entitled Model Data, allows you to directly input analysis and design parameters for your model. The top right window, entitled Pile Plan View, provides a plan cross-sectional view of the foundation configuration at the pile cap midplane. The bottom left window, entitled Soil Edit, displays the soil layering for the currently selected pile. In the default PM model shown here, one soil layer is defined. Note that FB Multipeer employs distributed nonlinear springs to model the resistance that is provided by the soil and rock media. Finally, the bottom right window, entitled 3D View, displays a 3D rendering of the model. To access the soil data used in the model, navigate to the soil page by clicking on Soil under Substructure. To showcase the soil plot feature, we will begin by dividing our soil layer into two individual layers. This is done by right-clicking in the Soil Edit window. Then, click Divide Layer. Next, click on the single soil layer seen here. FB Multipure will ask you to confirm that you would like to divide the predefined soil layer in half. Click OK to confirm this change. As shown in the Soil Edit window, we now have two individual soil layers defined. To select and edit a soil layer of interest, start by right-clicking in the Soil Edit window. Then, select Pick Layer. You may now select your soil layer of interest. Let's select the bottom layer for manipulation. You will know that the soil layer has been selected when a darkened box appears around the layer. Now, select the behavior type under Soil Layer Models. In this tutorial, we will select Lateral. However, properties may be altered for any of the soil behavior options shown here. Once you've selected your soil behavior, click Edit. This window, entitled Soil Properties, allows you to insert the macroscopic measured properties of your soil that were obtained from your soil borings. Here, you may input various parameters, including the internal friction angle, total unit weight, and the subgrade modulus at the bottom and top of each soil layer. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the default inputs given within the peer model. Click OK to update the soil properties. So far, we have selected our soil layer of interest and input the relevant soil properties for our layer. Additionally, you may select your soil type using the drop down menu next to the Edit button as shown. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will employ a sand layer. To visually depict soil properties per elevation increment, Click Plot. The Soil Resistance Plots window visually depicts the soil resistance curves that are formed based upon the data inputted in the prior steps. This is a convenient way of depicting an overview of the various macroscopic soil properties per pile node within the layer of interest. Tabular data is provided next to the plot to provide a more analytical interpretation. However, FD Multipeer also has the capacity to export data into Excel for further manipulation. To export your data, click Excel. You may now manipulate your data as desired directly within Excel. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.